Hello, 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 and today I will be showing you how to make correct concrete as a procedural texture. And for that, we will be using two noise maps as a base color, and then we will get into the bump, which is the difficult part of this. So, yeah, let's grab a Musgrave texture and a noise texture for our two base color textures, and we will just kind of bring them outwards here. And we will want a scale of 4.2 here. Let's preview it as well. 4.2 max the detail 0 0.2 scale. And then for the snow texture, we want a scale of 5 max detail, roughness of 7.5. And we're just gonna mix them together. And now we, we will use a color ramp. Put this here. And we will use a gray and a slightly softer gray as our base color. So we can just plug this into here, preview it. The roughness of uh, should be 0 0.85. And now the rest we will be doing is adding bump notes. Sorry, I forgot to press Control T here. Obviously we need a texture coordinate and we're just gonna plug the object into both of them. Okay, so now th this will be our base color and the rest we will be doing with bump maps. So I'm just gonna select those and just bring them up so we have a bit more space. And now we wanna use Musgrave textures for the first bump that we will do. So, Shift A, grab three Musgrave textures, duplicate them and put them under each other because we will need the space for them. Let's bring them out to like here or something. Control T in the middle one because we need. I was we're just going to use another texture texture coordinate for better overview, and just plug them into the object. And let's get to scaling these. So, um, first we want a scale of fourteen. Let's preview it as well. Max details as always dimension of zero point two, and second one we want to change to 40 because this will be our mask and we want to be able to move the masks masks so we want to have 4d on both of these let's change the scale to 10.5 just preview it 10.5 and the detail obviously goes to max dimension stays at one and this is also fine we can move this W value to like about 2. I just found that these values of 1.5 and 2 work great for patterns, but you can also obviously change these W values how you see fit in your project. Change the scale to 4. Let's preview it again. Max the, max the detail as always, and the dimension goes down to 1. This goes also down to 1, okay. Um, so. Let's get some color ramps into here, because now we want to because this has pretty washed out colors. Like th there's a lot of in uh, there are, are a lot of blacks in between our whites, and we don't want that. So let's plug in a color ramp here and just drag this closer to here, and we should have a way way cleaner thing. So let's just select these two then, and press Control Zero to mix them, and we want to change this mix to darken and factor one to zero oh um up to one so now you can see we are getting some black spots and this is where basically our mass will come into play we will do this a second time to have even more of those black black spots and now we have a pretty cool mask which we will then use to create our bump map now let's get in our bump notes we will need three of those so just plug them to normal and just Duplicate it three times. And we will grab the noise texture, plug this into the first one, into the height, preview it. This is way too much, so let's put this down to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. And we can take this darken and plug it into the second one. And now you can see we have some nice craters here, we have some, we ha we have some flat parts, like you do in concrete, and, and we have some just very, very rough 
ground, which is nice. But I think there is still some detail missing, which we will now get to. For this, we will use a Vorgner texture as a base, because you want some longer cut lines. And let's change this to distance to edge. And let's preview it. Put this to 7. But this doesn't really look cool, so we'll, we'll use a noise map to randomize the vector. Press Ctrl-3, press Ctrl-T again, and plug in the object into the vector. And change the scale to 1, details to max, roughness to 0.55, distortion to 0.2. And now, and now you can say we have some pretty cool just cracks. But obviously we don't want them all over the place, so what we will do is we will get in a color ramp and create a second mask. Just bring this into here so that we have less like just random dis disturbance all over. Just bring this up to here or something. And then we will grab Musgrave textures again. Two of them. But we will use two of the same, we'll just use the W value to move them a bit. So we're gonna duplicate them later, bring down the scale to a 0.15, max out the detail, and dimensions to 0 0.5, and bring in a color ramp. Put this here, bring this closer, something like this is pretty cool, and then Duplicate this Musgrave texture. Again, object into vector. Duplicate this color ramp. Height into bucket vector, and just set this W value to like four or something. So, 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 so that it's moved a lot. Now, we want to, we want to select those two. Control zero. Change these to lighten, and then factor of one, and do it again with this. And with this, we have our mask for our cracks. As you can see, we have cracks at some places, but I'm not, but not at all places. So I'm just bring this color into our height map, uh, into our bump map, into the height thing, and let's preview it. And this looks like pretty cool cracked concrete. You can obviously add more details or just. Um, add more variety to this if you see fit, but I think just judging by my test objects, this looks pretty cool and it's definitely possible as concrete. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I uh, hope I could help you um, some of you and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.